Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Wipe your feet on the welcome mat, take your shoes off at the door and come on in. Let's go ahead and listen to some Lorena McKinnett. We're gonna, um, we've listened to a few tracks from her uh, and honestly, I would like to possibly uh, go through this album. It's been on my wish list for a long time and I would like to give it a listen, preferably with some company in tow. So let's go ahead and do that. So it was recommended to me, this album by George Aramuni. Uh, let's see. Hold on. There's more names. I got it. I just got to get through them. Drink your tea. Gaia Eternal. Diddler Chapelot. Did you recommend? No, I don't think you did, actually. I'm, I'm misreading. Ua Puat. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Monta Lang. You said that I that this is one of your favorites, so happy to go ahead and give her a listen here as well. Randy Gibson and Anthony Blakely, who says he is so, so, so happy as well. So, anyways... Let's go ahead and start off with the first track, The Mystic's Dream. Like I said, my, my plan is to go through this album. Uh, so that's that's the, the that's the plan. So let's go ahead and start here, <laughs> The Mystic's Dream. Also, I just want to say, really awesome album cover. I don't know what it is, but the colors, the kind of texture she has going on, like the fable storybook kind of look, I don't know, something antique about it. That's a really awesome album cover. So I'm excited to get into the music. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go.
you know music is an amazing thing music can capture feelings music can help process thoughts it can do so many things but this type of music is the type of music that takes me somewhere i'm not in this room right now i i don't know where i am but i'm not in this room right now i i smell some some incense some people smoking hookah over there i don't know who they are never met them I don't know. There's just there's there's an otherworldly, completely different side of the world that this type of music takes me to, and I love the journey. Where did you go listening to this music? Because I have to imagine that when you were listening to this, you were you were thinking somewhere else. You were you were somewhere completely different. You're not wherever you currently are. You weren't in your seat looking at your phone watching a YouTube video. You weren't watching me on the TV or on the computer screen. You were you were in some distant land that you've never been before and yet it felt all too familiar. It was just a beautiful place to go and I love how McKenna, how she really took us on this cinematic experience listening to this. We started off with the, you know, I wouldn't say haunting. I mean, it didn't sound like haunting to me, just absolutely gorgeous, you know, wordless vocals that just echo through the night. Then you would have the male choir, of course, with the deeper register coming in and kind of overriding, overtaking and providing more of a push. And then she would come in with it. Then you hear, you hear a little something and the music starts to kick in there. And that's where the main theme and the rest of it goes from there. And she sings in this really wonderful, not <laughs> sing songy sounds bad, but like just the sway that she has in the verse. Na, 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 na. I don't, I'm not even doing it right. Um, but it reminds me, I, this is going to be a weird comparison perhaps, but it reminds me in some ways of, um, uh, of Pentangle and some of the ways that the folk songs are crafted in their music. And I was getting a similar feeling here. Of course, we're getting a big cultural difference, uh, musically, but just the way that the singing was done, the delivery of it, it felt like a different kind of folk tale that we were listening to here. This was magical. This lives up to the name of the song, The Mystic's Dream, because of the mystical's dream and all some good stuff. A clouded dream on an earthly night hangs upon the crescent moon, a voiceless song, like we heard. In an ageless night, or light, sings at the coming of dawn. Birds in flight are calling there where the heart moves the stones. It's there that my longing is for. All for the love of you. So she describes a place that she wants to be, but at the same time, at the did I just have like a strong country accent for a moment? But at the same time, she reveals that that place is love and the love that she has for this person. A painting hangs on an ivy wall nestled in the emerald moss. The eyes declare a truce of trust and then it draws me far away. Where deep in the desert twilight sand melts in pools of the sky. Where darkness lays her crimson cloak, your lamps will call, call me home. It's, the whole thing is this journey from wherever she is to wherever she needs to be, to, to this place that she calls home, once again, to that love. And the lyrics kind of go on from there uh, describing that. Absolutely beautiful, wonderful to listen to. Let me know where the music took me, or it took me. I know where it took me. Let me know where the music took you in your journey and in your listen. You can let me know those thoughts down below in the comments. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support the channel and what I do on Patreon, but otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed the, the journey. Hope you enjoyed the music. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Come on back tomorrow. We'll do something else. Bye, guys.